My name is Obadolua Adelano. I'm the head boy of Christian High School Keja, and I'm year 12 yellow, the yellow standing for technology. Um, I started programming when I was in year 7. It was actually a summer camp I had as I was entering year 7. I was in around year 6 time. It was about game development in, with Unity. I learned C Sharp, and it was pretty cool. And from then on, that's when I really liked coding so much. So I started creating different games. I have some on Play Store. Um, I started creating apps and learning new languages, you know, web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the likes. And then, when I was in year 11, during the lockdown, I took a course by Harvard, the Intro to Computer Science course. And then I learned about C and, you know, the world of programming itself, I actually pointers and all these, like, really advanced topics and techniques. And that's when I really, really enjoy programming and yes from then on you know creating more apps creating simulations creating command line programs and all and all those things so i can program in like five to seven languages um according to order of preference that is like c dart c plus plus c sharp javascript yes i think that's it but I'm mostly proficient you know c and dart and that's what i use to create the application. So the first project I worked on were the games as I said before. Then I moved on to you know more games. I, I, I think I released like five games or so. Then some websites, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I even learned PHPS for a WordPress website to create themes and all those things. Then Android developments with Java uh, and XML. Then more games. <laughs> Then Flutter, you know, to create all these apps. Then I also learned C, and with C I use um, a library called Raylib, and it allows you to create you know, graphics and simulations. So I created like um, a graphing calculator because we we're doing further math in school, and they were talking about polynomials and all those things. So I created a graphing calculator to graph the polynomial, you know, equation over a certain value of x and y. And currently, I'm working on creating boards. It's a, um, a physics simulation that uses a lot of math, you know, to model the the locomotion of birds and fishes. And then I'm also working on another app that I'm not going to disclose. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how has Christian helped me? Well, they've helped me quite a lot. I remember in primary school, my teachers, you know, pushed me forward to do these things: presentations on technology. And it even taught me new skills and new things I can learn. Um, in junior school, I created apps, I created games, you know, to, for, to present space exploration game, you know, to kind of show the advantages of using technology. I created um, a game, a quiz game, you know, to learn, to practice past questions in a fun and engaging way. And then also, my teacher gave me a flyer for a techpreneurship bootcamp where I learned about entrepreneurship in the tech space. So I'm currently at 12, so I want to go to university. Maybe stay here or go abroad. I'm not really sure about that one. Then I want to work, work at a company first, then maybe start my own business, or maybe just do freelance, which is just, you know, companies or people who contact me, then I'll help them with work, which I've even done during the lockdown. Then I want to actually do some research, maybe at universities, and learn new technologies or invent new technologies like you know you have virtual reality and augmented reality and those were created by people and a bunch of people you know sat down to do research so i like to do research a lot too now this is the overview of how the app works in action so as a librarian when you're on the home screen you can see a bunch of books past questions and stationaries the students have borrowed and it's just you know very nice because you also have a search bar are you able to you know fish out a particular book a particular past question that has been borrowed then you also have the analytics page where you're able to see the amount of books that have been borrowed over time maybe throughout this week or throughout um, the past month and the whole computerization process of the of the library bookkeeping is just excellent because it's so much efficient and nice so let's um, go over how you can add an item
in order to add an item click add item you type in the name of the person who's borrowing then you type in the class you put in the class and then you choose the sub subcategory of the class then you type in the name of the item diary of the wimpy kid then after you do that you choose whether it's a book stationary or past question then you choose the return time when the person wants to return it either tomorrow next tomorrow next year and the time in which is going to return it then you click add new item and immediately you see that the item has been added to the home page and with the due time you know the time when the person is going to return it in this case is due tomorrow and you can choose to delete it and you can press return when the person has returned the book so it just makes um the library more efficient and easy and faster to manage all the books you have